All right, hello guys. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Major Winter Storm Caleb. It's now named a Winter Storm. We're gonna go over who could see the most snowfall in this one, even 10 to 15 inches in some regions. We'll go over that at the end of the video where you can see our snowfall forecast. But before we get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to share this video with your friends and family on Facebook and other social medias if you think they'll find it useful or interesting. Now let's get right into things. We're looking at our current hazards, so our current warnings, watches, and advisories. And you can see in all these purple regions, which extend through a lot of the New England states, nor interior northeastern states, and then even some of those Great Lakes states there, as well as uh, portions of West Virginia, Virginia, Kentucky, we are experiencing winter weather advisories. And obviously you'd have to go through the National Weather Service and click on your actual county to find out the exact specifications of what they're expecting for your region. But we do have winter weather advisories for all these regions. Now in the pink regions, which extends over a lot of the interior northeastern United States and a little bit of Michigan there as well, that's where we have winter storm warnings. Basically, this is where we're expecting major, major impacts for you guys. Just like I said a couple days ago, a lot of people didn't believe me. They were like, oh, you're just hyping this up and now look. Uh, I just had to figure out how the models were working this season, and now we had a great idea already uh, three days before the system even started. We had a great idea of what was going to happen, so I'm very, very proud of how this one's turned out so far. Now, we're going to go over my favorite model for our future cast radar. This is called the RGEM model, and it's actually the best short-range model in my opinion, and we're going to go over that and see who can expect to see the heaviest amounts of snow. All right, so we're starting things out. We still, as of right about now, have snow mostly occurring for Chicago, Michigan, Wisconsin, and a lot of those central United States regions. We do have snow showers heading into upstate New York and a little bit of New England uh, this morning, but not too much going on quite yet. As we head a little bit later into the afternoon and evening, you can see that Chicago, you're on the lighter end of snow now. Your snow is almost done by this evening, but St. Louis, you're just getting started, as well as regions in Ohio, Indiana, southern Illinois, and Michigan, you're at the tail end of this thing. Uh, we do see some of that more moderate snow heading into upstate New York and the New England states by this point, which is basically indicating, okay, the storm is just beginning by this evening is when you can expect to start seeing snowfall for those regions. Then by the time, I would say around sunset or a bit after, maybe 8 or 9 p.m. for the east coast there, we do see snowfall beginning to become a lot more heavy, especially for those lake effect regions where we're seeing the lake effect enhancement that I was mentioning in previous videos. All, every, all major weather sources have caught on with this idea that we will have lake effect enhancement, so they are all in agreement. We do see... The interior uh, New England regions also receiving moderate snowfall by this point, and a lot of Ohio, Indiana, and even Kentucky, Tennessee, and Missouri by this point receiving snowfall. Very, very unseasonable snowstorm here. Very, very early for those regions to be even receiving snowfall. Now, we're going to zoom into the northeast after that frame because this is where it's becoming more of a mostly northeastern New England and basically mid-Atlantic northeast snowstorm by this point, and we're going to be expecting heavy, heavy snow for these regions as we move on to some more frames. You can see that we do still have the lake effect enhancement going on for some of the er areas in New York, west of the Finger Lakes regions. Also, central Maine receiving heavy snowfall by this point. But I also want to point out that Kentucky and Tennessee are receiving some snow, and even central and, by this point, almo almost eastern Ohio as well, as well as Erie, Pennsylvania, some of those northwestern regions. We do see a lot of pinks and purples going on for New England. I wanted to point that out. It's an indication that we will be seeing some sleet and freezing rain trying to mix in and mess this one up. Very, very common for this time of year to see that during a snowstorm, obviously, where it's going to have some issues in some of those more southern regions. But we're going to play the course of this model run and just see where you could expect to see snow or not. That was maybe 12 or 1 a.m. on Tuesday the 12th that morning. You can see by... I would say this is probably 3 a.m. We see heavy snow moving into the Adirondacks of New York. Uh, so all of upstate New York getting extreme amounts of moderate to heavy snow for those regions. Also notice the lake effect snow going on for Michigan. Very, very heavy lake effect bands going on for those regions as well as Cleveland, Ohio, and a lot of those areas in Ohio that are coastal there along the Great Lakes there. We see moderate to heavy snow for Maine as well. Let's move on to morning time, I would say probably 7 or 8 a.m. on November 12th here, Tuesday. You could see Vermont 
upstate New York beginning to see snow. And you can see as we get to the tail end of the system, a lot of the more eastern and southern regions in Pennsylvania, upstate New York, even Virginia, Tennessee, and North Carolina there, those mountains in the Smoky Mountains are receiving moderate snowfall by this point. So at the tail end, I think everybody ends as snow. Even some extreme regions like Maryland, Delaware, and even eastern Virginia and North Carolina. I'll get more into that in just a little bit. That's where we're going to be talking about some more extra, extra exciting things going on for even some of the southeast and mid-Atlantic states. You can see that by time we're in the noontime on Tuesday the 12th, you can see this is mostly a New England and Maine well, I guess Maine isn't New England, but mostly a Maine and then some of those other New England states event upstate New York, still receiving a little bit of snow in the valley there. And then you can see eastern Pennsylvania, maybe even Philadelphia as well, is getting very, very close to New York City with that snow line. And again, central Virginia there in North Carolina receiving some snowfall on the tail end of that front and still the Smoky Mountains and some of the Appalachians as well receiving snowfall. But notice all of that lake effect snow for Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan, New York. Lake effect snow is going to be very prevalent later on Tuesday and even through Wednesday as well as very, very cold air is going to move over those warm lakes, creating a very exciting scenario that we usually do see start to ramp up in November. So this is very common for the lakes to start getting active. Maybe I would say more common towards late November, so it's a little bit early, but still, this isn't unheard of. Now... You can see I said southeast Virginia and eastern Virginia and eastern North Carolina. On the RGEM, we don't see that, but I'm going to show you a different model in just a little bit that has a different opinion. We see snow showers still all over the place in the northeast, uh, as well as New England. Things are wrapping up here for the storm. This is by, uh, I would say, again, by nightfall on Tuesday. And then you can see by maybe 12 a.m. or maybe 11 p.m. on Tuesday the 12th, we see that snow finally ending for New England. Remember, I said everybody sees flakes in New England. You can see Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, Cape Cod, and then even that very eastern tip in Maine, we're all seeing snowfall to end things at this point. All right, and then you can see by Wednesday, this is the middle of the night, Tuesday night, so I would say Wednesday 3 a.m., Wednesday the 13th, that is. You can see lake effect all over the place for New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, a little bit of Michigan as well. So there is lake effect all over the place by Wednesday morning, like I said. All right, now here's your NAM model. And this is going to be the second model we take a bit of a look at here that has the southeast potentially seeing snowfall with this one. We see snowfall on this frame already for coastal New Jersey to end things, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, eastern Virginia, North Carolina. Again, you're going to see on my snowfall map pretty much everywhere on this map that you see right now has a chance of seeing flakes, which I know is just insane. But that's what it looks like for tomorrow evening and through the afternoon. Let's move on one frame to, you know, later in the evening, maybe 7 or 8 p.m. tomorrow night for the East Coast. You can see Rhode Island, Long Island, going towards Cape Cod, Nantucket, and also Martha's Vineyard. But you can see the eastern shore of Virginia receiving snowfall, southeast Virginia, Norfolk, Suffolk, all of these regions potentially seeing snowfall, and even northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, that would be near uh, Lake Gaston, North Carolina. Beautiful area, by the way. We go there a lot in the summertime. It's very beautiful. Uh, potentially ending to see flakes. Not expecting cum accumulations in this area, obviously, but I think it's just exciting news to see that we are potentially going to see our first flakes in these regions, which is actually where I live in this region. So very, very exciting stuff. Now, let's get started with my exciting snowfall forecast and the final snowfall forecast for Major Winter Storm Caleb. All right, so here's our first layer. This is the could see flakes region. Again, all of these regions on this map have a chance at seeing flakes. Uh, so that's the exciting news here. Uh, also, all of these gray areas could see flakes, including Norfolk, some of those northeastern Virgin uh, North Carolina regions, central northern North Carolina. All of these regions could see snowfall. Super exciting. Let's add our second layer, though. This is the dusting to three-inch layer, so all those gray areas not really expecting too much accumulation. Maybe a dusting in some of those regions scattered around, but for the most part, we're not really expecting to see much accumulation. But in this white region, we are expecting to see a dusting to even three inches of snow for a lot of these regions. Now, let's add our third layer. This is our one, or this is our three to six-inch layer in the blue. Notice a lot of those areas in West Virginia, Maryland, and Pennsylvania, that little 
sliver seeing three to six inches. And then also for Michigan, Ohio, and up through the interior northeast, we see that chance at three to six inches. Then for our fourth layer here, you can see this is our six to 10 inch layer from Buffalo up through Syracuse, Burlington, and up into the interior main regions like maybe Caribou. Uh, we see that chance at six to 10 inches of snow. And we even have a fifth layer here, which is our 10 to 15 inch layer. So for the Adirondacks, the, the Northern Adirondacks that is, very, very far Northern interior Maine. And then even the Northern, very Northern regions in Vermont, there just to the East of Burlington, which is a very mountainous region, is also expecting to potentially see 10 inches plus. Anyway, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. As I uh, said in the beginning of the video, be sure to share this with your friends and family if they live in the regions anywhere you see on this map or if you think they'll find it useful or interesting. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.